The pursuit of excellence is embedded in the DNA of every Buckeye. From academics to athletics, boardrooms and our communities, we are distinguished by our dedication to become our best selves and by extension to contribute the best we can to the world around us. As a student athlete, NBA all-star and entrepreneur, Michael Redd has embodied this proud tradition in every way. During three seasons playing basketball for the Buckeyes, Mr. Redd earned Big Ten Freshman of the Year honors, was a three-time Ohio State MVP, and was an all-Big Ten selection. To this day, he ranks sixth in career scoring at Ohio State and seventh in average points per game. In addition to his excellence on the court, he's also an outstanding leader. In his third year playing for the Scarlet and Gray, he was elected as a team captain. Following a stellar career with the Buckeyes, he was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks, where he spent 11 of his 12 seasons in the NBA. Along the way, he was named Milwaukee's team MVP five times, was an NBA All-Star, and brought home a gold medal from the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. The same tenacity and leadership that characterized his athletic career also contributed to his success as an entrepreneur and investor. While in the NBA, he helped launch The Wave, a nonprofit business incubator and economic development enterprise here in central Ohio. He's since founded the Wave Innovation Group and 22 Ventures, which support companies and entrepreneurs in media, technology, and sports. And he joined Advantage Sports Tech Fund as a venture partner. He's been an angel investor in more than 85 companies and continues to pursue excellence for emerging businesses, emerging businesses, communities, and people in all he does. Graduates, families, and friends, please join me in welcoming Columbus native and Buckeye great, Michael Redd. I can virtually hear the applause, so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to this incredible university, uh, which I love so dearly. Thank you to our board, our trustees, uh, for this incredible day and incredible opportunity for me. Thank you to our faculty for their tireless hard work their ability to adjust in this incredible time in our lives. Thank you. And ultimately, thank you. Your perseverance, your tenacity, your drive will be the traits that will carry you to the next era of your life. In preparation for this speech, I couldn't help but get emotional knowing that I grew up 10 minutes from here on the hilltop on the west side of Columbus. And to go from 210 South Terrace to now being a speaker at this year's commencement blows my mind. But I want it to be a witness to you that nothing is impossible. You are born for this time. I'm going to say that again. You are born for such a time as this, in the middle of our world being in flux, social unrest, a pandemic, chaos all around us. It really is a new reality among us. But I want to challenge you and encourage you that in the midst of this new reality, there is new opportunity. Never forget that the world inside of you can impact the world around you. Never, ever negotiate your dreams your goals, and ultimately vision. Vision has been a hallmark of my life. I would not be standing here today without it. Vision has almost governed my life, and it literally has dictated all of the decisions that I've ever made in my life. Flawed and all, imperfect, but still holding on to vision. Vision is what has carried me throughout my whole entire career and adult life. 
I want to challenge you and encourage you today with that. Be solidified in who you are and begin to have vision for your life. I'm a man of faith, and so the Bible says that without vision, people perish. George Washington Carver says where there's no vision, there's no hope. Allow yourself to have vision govern your life and dictate different decisions within your destiny and purpose. The secret to your success is you. It was vision that brought me to this great institution over 20 plus years ago. It was vision that carried me into my career in the NBA. It was vision that carried me through a lot of failures within my career. It was vision that carried me through deep, dark times. I want to encourage you today that as long as you have vision, you have everything. Never begin to negotiate the potential that lies within you. You can achieve whatever you put your mind to. And this great institution has been a great testing ground, a great incubator for what's to come in your life. This is a microcosm of what the rest of your life will be. Persevering through challenging times, tough times. I remember winning a gold medal for our beloved country in 2008, and literally six months later, I tear my knee, completely derailing my career. And then a year to the day, I tore it again. You're going to face challenging times in your life. But I want to encourage you, again, to run towards the challenge. Never be afraid of fear. Never be afraid of failure. Challenging times are a part of life. I, I, I remember going on vacation a year ago and learning more about Buffalo, ironically. And learning that Buffalo are one of the longest surviving mammals in the world. And I asked the question, well, why is that so? And I learned that buffalo, throughout the ages, they've survived ice ages, they've survived calamity around the world with tornadoes and hurricanes and blizzards. They've been able to survive all of that throughout the ages because they've learned and their natural bent is to run into storms. They've survived millions of years because of their ability to not retreat from a storm or a challenge but to actually run towards the storm. And as they run into the storm, the storm ends quicker instead of retreating from the storm and the storm lasting and lasting and lasting. Never ever be afraid to fail. Failure is the breeding ground for innovation. Failure is the breeding ground for innovation and creativity. I once was asked a question after I missed a game-winning shot playing for the Milwaukee Bucks years ago. And the reporter asked me, he simply asked me, what does it feel like to fail? And I responded back to him with a different perspective on failure. I said to him, I'm playing in the NBA. I'm the starting two guard for the Milwaukee Bucks. My teammates and my coaches trusted me to have the ball at the end of the game and I was able to shoot the ball exactly where I wanted to shoot it. Did I really fail? And the reporter had to nod his head. I want to encourage you again today to be able to see failure differently. Have a different focus and different perspective of your journey through the ups and downs, because they will come. But like the buffalo, Begin to embrace it. Let your drive and let your passion and let your hunger dictate your future. I never forget I was hungry after playing basketball all day as a little child. I came home and I was really, really hungry. And my mom, all she had prepared for food was cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and beans. And when I heard about what she had prepared for dinner, I said, Mom, I'm I'm not wanting that. And she looked at me and she said, well, then you're not hungry. There's something to be said about driven, hungry individuals. 
I believe you're the one. I believe you have all the qualities to impact this world, to make a difference in this world, because this world needs your voice. We need your ingenuity. We need your innovation. We need your genius. I need it. We all need it. And so I want to congratulate you on this incredible milestone that will launch you into a new era of your life. Surround yourself with people that will always stretch you and push you to do new things and creative things. I remember as a kid going to the swimming pool, the local community swimming pool, and I had, afraid of, I had a fear of heights. I remember climbing the ladder to dive off the diving board. And the line at this point as I'm standing on the diving board is so long. And I'm beginning to have fear in my heart. And I turn around and the line is long and it's bunched up and there's no way for me to turn back to climb down the ladder. I had no choice but to jump off the diving board and take the plunge. And my friends behind me were encouraging me. Never be afraid to take risk. Never be afraid to jump off into the deep and to jump off into uncertainty. There's a great quote about risk, that if you're living on the edge of risk, you're taking up too much real estate. Dare to be different. Embrace your distinction. Our culture is full of people who plagiarize, who look at social media and say, I want to be like them. And there's nothing wrong with gleaning from people and learning from people and having mentors. But I want to challenge you to dare to be different. Distinction makes history, not sameness, not average. When you come to this university, the expectation and the bar is high. And that is to make a mark on history. I salute you again today, graduates of 2020. You are entering into the greatest time of your life. Embrace the challenge and enjoy the scenic route. Congratulations again. God bless you and thank you and go Bucks.